Hello everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're going to make over these placemats that I found at Home Goods. So what you're going to need is to find you some placemats. These happen to be Easter ones, which you could use these for all the holidays. They have placemats, all kinds for, for every season. So you get four of them, so it's almost like you're getting four pillows for the price of one. So you're going to need some of the placemats, some fiber fill, my glue gun, a seam ripper, and I have a pair of scissors here, and a little protector for your finger so um, the glue gun is hot, so you don't burn yourself. So the first thing I did is cut off all the little tags, and then I just found the bottom area of the pillow. Whatever you want to be the bottom, that's where you're going to take the stitching out. So you just kind of have to look at it a little bit and just pick at the little threads. And I made probably like maybe a hand width um, section. I opened it up to about that far. And then I just trimmed back all the little threads that I pulled out. So you're just going to kind of keep working at it. Be careful not to cut your fabric. And you might um, be able to use a pair of scissors, but I like to use my little seam ripper here. And I just start picking at the little stitches. So once you get that opened up, you want to make sure it's open enough to where you can fit your hand through there to put the fiber fill in. I happen to pick up a pillow form at Ikea, and I think they're around $4, and I thought I'm going to try to stick this in there just for you all that maybe you want to um, interchange this. You could add Velcro or a snap or a button at the bottom, and then you could just take that form out and put it into a different uh, placemat that you have or a different pillow cover. So just go ahead and I just kind of push that in there and push it up in all the corners till I got it just how I wanted it. And then I'm just gonna take my glue gun and just add a little bit of glue right on the seam on one side. And I just do a little bit at a time. So you just wanna add a little bit of glue and then I'm just gonna squeeze it, hold it together Make sure your pillow insert or your fiber fill is not um, up in the way. So I'm going to have to push that back a little bit. And then I just keep adding a little bit more glue as I went, letting it cool down so the glue has time to um, adhere. And then I just kind of went straight along and finished it. And just kept gluing a little bit at a time, keeping the pillow insert pushed down there. And I just got all the way to the end. Let it cool down a little bit. And then that's the bottom. I think it turned out super cute. Now, how fast and easy is that? Now, on this one, it's a little bit more difficult because there's a little trim in there. Sometimes if they have um, a little bit of welting or the trim or piping, you might have um, a couple different layers to take apart with your seam ripper. So just kind of pull it apart and kind of look and see what's going on and just start picking at it and eventually it will come apart for you. So just take it enough to where you can get your hand in there and then just cut off any extra little loose strings. Now on this one, it was actually three pieces. So I had the top layer, the pink little trim, and then the back layer. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the pink layer back on the front first before I stuff it. So I'm just gonna take same way, just take a little bit of hot glue, put it right underneath that pink part there on the top layer, just a little bit of glue, push the little um, trim down, and just keep doing that to get that all taken care of on that side. And then once that's nice and cooled down, you're gonna just stuff it with some fiber fill. Or if you have a round pillow that will fit, you can get a big bag of polyfill for, I don't know how much those were, maybe $10. And it probably would do a lot of pillows because you don't really need to put these so full. I just kind of want to just fluff it up. But you could fill it however you want. You could fill it with um, styrofoam balls, you know, for bean bags or feathers or whatever you have. But I like the fiber fill here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here and just move it all around till I get it just right. I just love this little pillow. 
Now you get four in a placemat pack and I think I'm going to uh, let my sisters have the other pieces because I really don't need four of these pillows. But it's so cute. You make cute gifts for people. What a cute gift to put in your Easter basket for someone. So here now I'm just adding more glue to, th to this side and I'm just going to just hold them together till it cools down and dries and that's pretty much it. So easy. Now if you wanted to and you wanted to sew it with your sewing machine you could do that too. I just want to make it super simple for other people to make if you don't have a sewing machine. Well thanks for watching. Bye everybody.